And we're back. Um, part, th I think this is, this is part 12. Unless it's not. I actually should check that right now. I think I might have gotten the part wrong in the last video. Which I know people love so much as a clear show of professionalism. Yeah, this last, last one was part 11. I think I called it part 12. And this is part 12. Five Ds, here we go. So it looks like six videos per series, which is which just means, you know, 18 more videos. So it's fine. I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't take that long, but here we go. Um, also, wait, no, my math is wrong. It means 24 more videos. <laughs> okay. Akiza, Black Rose Garden. Um, what if instead... Let's try... Let's try Cyberdark against her. Seed of Deception. So, uh... I laid down in bed after the last video. It was like 2 a.m. Um, fell asleep for a bit with all my stuff still on. I was like, oh, well. Groggily woke up. Turned it off. And then, uh, went to sleep. I did that thing where... I woke up and it's like, I clearly my body was still tired and I want to go back to sleep, but like every time I went to sleep it would only last for like two minutes. And I was like, alright, well, make up your mind, body. You can discard this card, add one machine Cyberdark monster from your deck to your hand. And there's Cyberdark Inferno. Um, you can target one Cyberdark monster you control, return it to the enemy, uh, uh, normal summon one Cyberdark monster. And these effect of this once per turn. Um... Uh, and if this card is, and you can add. Oh, if this card is destroyed, you can add a polymerization. Good. Um, so we need that. I like how it really only shows those two. Oh no, wait. I think that's the big boy. All right. I don't know the best way to do this. We have a good amount of them here. Um, so let's. I'll equip to a monster. Um, so I can't equip this yet. I don't think. Let's just normal summon it for now. Um. Oh, wait. No, that makes sense. Yeah, so then I'll summon one of these two. Gains the attack. Gains the attack. This card can attack directly. Um, destroy the monster. If this card attacks, then piercing. So this one does piercing. This one can attack directly. Okay. Gotcha. I'm still curious if I made this deck properly. Botanical Lion? Oh no. What do I have? Jelly Cannon? No, we'll let him get destroyed. <laughs> I don't know why I keep putting Jelly Cannon in deck. It's fun to me. Um, it's like Dimensional Wall, but like worse. Alright. You can only draw... You can draw... Uh, we can use the following effects. Once per turn, you can discard this card. Add one machine Cyberdark monster from your deck to your hand. So let's discard it. Uh, I see now. The reason that works is that it gets, it gets it into the graveyard, and it um. Uh, and it allows you to play the cards. Okay. This card destroys the monster by battle of inflict 300 damage. So it seems like this one would be the best, but I'm not sure. I guess it depends on the situation. Alright. Trying to remember, what is the Cyberdark? What's this card again? They can't uh, be destroyed by card effects. It can't be targeted either. Uh, you control a return to the hand immediately after this effect resolves. You can normal summon one Cyberdark monster. Um, okay. I don't know what the point of that is other than getting that destroyed. Um, and then this card attacks defense position monster. What am I? I gotta remember how to play this fucking deck, which is so annoying. This card is sent to the graveyard while equipped to a monster. You can draw one card. Okay, so that's what happens. All right, what do you got for me, Akiza? Oh, you need. That's cool. Oh shit, I should have done that. Well, I guess it doesn't matter too much. I'm only missing Cyberdark Claw, I think it is. The the fifth one. So I need a... Uh, um, a Speller Trap that works for that. So, 
yeah, they're going to summon Black Rose Dragon, which isn't surprising. Does Black Rose have their own animation? I don't think they do. Tisk tisk. Ooh, that's not good. Um, so even if they destroy the, um, even if they try and destroy my field, hold on. That's I almost said Ichigo. That's uh, you say his card. That's not your card. How dare you? Uh, your opponent has declared battle. Activate the effect of a card. Yes, I will. You kindly go right back to your fucking deck. And you don't come back. I'm not like that. I'm glad I held on to Jelly Cannon. Okay. Um, I guess... Cyber Dark Keel? Um, it's kind of weird that I'm not going to be able to get the fusion versions of these. I feel like I have enough like fusion material in my deck, so I don't know what the issue is. Yeah, why not? Help me mill my deck a little bit. I'll throw one in there, so now we have all of them. So yeah, it's it's funny that literally it's just these two monsters make this entire deck viable. Because Cyberdarks on their own, their effects are fine, but having to mix them with like dragon monsters is what really fucks you over. Having two that are dragon monsters make this much easier. Banish one dragon monster from your hand. We'll get rid of you, because we already have one. Uh, if this card is sent to the uh, graveyard well equipped, you can target one, add it to your hand. Okay. Discard one. Uh, this card, add one Cyberdark spell trap from your deck to your hand. Um, well, that seems to be pretty promising. So we got Cyberdark Impact, which is the big one. Um, fusion summon one Cyberdark Dragon from your extra deck by returning one of each from your hand, graveyard, or anywhere on the field to deck as fusion material. Um, or, alternatively, power bonds. Um, let's see. I gotta remember these effects, too. Five Cyberdark Effect Monsters. Uh, must be using some of this card to special summon target one dragon monster in your graveyard. Equip that target to this card. This card gains attack equal to the equipped monster's original attack. This card gains 100 attack for each monster in your graveyard. If this card would destroy a battle, destroy that equipped monster instead. So it's not that good. This one, on the other hand, this card is special summons. You can equip one dragon or machine monster from your graveyard to this card. Gains attack. When your opponent activates an, an effect, you can send one equipped card you control to the graveyard and negate the activation. Um. Cyberdark might work. Let's, let's test it out. Uh, okay, so I have to use these three. I think it's this specifically only works for regular Cyberdark Dragon. And it sends them back to the deck. But because I sent those other ones to the graveyard, I wonder if their effects will activate. That is kind of a not as good part. Um, let's see. You can discard during damage calculation of monster. You can send one monster to the same effect. Um, except this one lets me target Cyber Drag Cyber Darks and put them in my hand. And this one lets me draw a card. We'll do you. Twenty nine hundred's not bad. It's not great. It's not bad. Uh yes. Oh, right, yeah. So it lets me throw literally any monster in there. That's pretty cool. I'll try and throw all of the Cyberdark cannons and claws in there. I wonder if, um... That card, Cybernetic Fusion Overload, whatever the fuck it's called. I wonder if that'll work so I can fusion summon from the graveyard. Um, that would be interesting. I am currently in a bit of a pickle. As I try to get all my cards out there. I really do want to draw one of these, so I don't want to throw those in the graveyard. I really need her to stop playing cards. That might have been a misplay, now that I think about it. Because Cyberdark Dragon's fine, but like the other two were doing pretty good on their own. And I had two monsters, which made that a little bit better. Alright. Um, let's do this one. 
Um, you only use each of the following effects. So I can use both of them once per turn. Um, what is this one? Oh, it's sent to the graveyard. Okay. And then this one has piercing. It's weird to me that um, do I want to activate some arcane again? Yeah, why not? It's weird to me that um, Cyberdark Dragon doesn't just combine all three effects of the other monsters, especially since since originally he was so hard to summon. All right, that's one down. Uh, let's try the Crystal Beasts, and then we'll try the Malefic cards. I don't think I have enough water for this. My mouth is kind of dry. It has uh, been very arid in my apartment lately. And I keep waking up very dry mouths. <coughs> I didn't grab water before this. That means my only other option is Mountain Dew. We'll see how that works for me. Okay. So rare value if you control two or more. Right. Rainbow Bridge would be good. Good. I can add one Crystal Beast Speller Trap. Um, ultimate Crystal Monster. Crystal Monster is destroyed. You can I want to see if this works. I feel like I'm miss I'm reading this card wrong. Because it can't be that powerful. There's no way. So I'll let him destroy my... Uh, Crystal Beast Topaz Tiger. I don't know why it's so easy for me to do uh, a southern accent. But it is... My name is Jesse Anderson. I'm doing my best. Hey, y'all. Um, which is super weird because I th maybe he probably did. <clears throat> they probably did the thing where he has a Kansai accent in the uh, in the dub, or I'm um, sorry, in the original Japanese version. But like, I've heard his Japanese voice because I've watched season four, and it's not it doesn't make sense that he has that. I don't like whatever you're trying to do. Please stop it. Okay. That's fine. You fool! Oh, wait. What did I do wrong here? Yes. Okay. Ultimate Crystal Magic. Alright, what? So, Pegasus, Carbuncle, Amethyst, uh, Mammoth, I like how I keep going back between saying their gem and then saying their animal. Alright, so it did make me do all of these. That's good. Oh, oh that's pretty cool. Um, once per turn. Okay, let's, let's see how this works out for me. Rainbow Dragon Overlord. Activate the effect of a card. Once per turn, you can banish one Crystal Beast monster from your graveyard. This card gains attack equal to banished monsters to the end of the turn. You can this huge monster. Shuffle all cards on the field into the deck. No. Not not yet. Hell yeah. That, uh... That was infinitely easier. Um, okay. Let's see. What other card would be good for Rainbow Bridge? Crist Crystal Promise. Or Crystal Bond. Crystal Bond's a good one. Because um, it lets you throw one in your spell and trap zone. And also, look at that fucking card art. It's so cute. Um, and it's it's got Jesse again. Like, I love that uh, this is one of the few cards that actually has their uh, duelist. It must be special summoned by having, so I don't have to remove them, which means I can just do this and summon both of them. I think one thing I might add to this deck... Um, specifically, is I might add um, some level 10 or 12 uh, XYZ cards. I feel like those rarely get used. I could just summon these, but um, I don't know. Let's see. I think I might leave that for now. <clears throat> I activate Crystal Promise. Um, so this is select the card to add to your hand. So we'll add Pegasus to the hand. And then we'll add Carbuncle to the Spell and Trap Zone. And then, uh, well, I don't want to use your effects. Stop trying to prompt me. And then we'll activate Rare Value. Draw two more cards. 
And then we'll activate Rainbow Ruins. Ruins. And then... Um, we'll activate... Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus. And we'll throw... Uh, Amber Mammoth there. And then we'll activate Crystal Beacon. Oh boy. This, uh, this deck has gotten out of control. And then... We'll summon another Sapphire Pegasus, whose effect should activate again. Yep. And then we'll uh, we'll throw another one. Oh, can they can be from the graveyard too? We'll we'll mill the last Crystal Beast from our from our deck. I can't believe on turn three, my deck is halved. What a world. Okay. So you have to be sure by card effects. You can have the battle damage during either player's turn. Uh, I can stop a Spiller Trap. Okay. What's your effect? You can detach one XYZ material from this card. Target one face up one monster you control. It can attack twice. That's not going to help you. Um, Alright, I will finally activate its effect. Uh, you can tribute this, shuffle all cards once per turn. You can banish one Crystal Beast monster from your graveyard. Well, uh, I'll banish Sapphire Pegasus. Uh, what other effect would I chain? Oh, his other, so it's asking me to activate his other effect. Damn it, so he's still... This is going to prompt me? Okay. So, I have a sneaking suspicion I may have won. I've never OTK'd with Crystal Beasts, so this is a new experience for me. Um, Because that's kind of wild. I, like... There was hesitation from me, because I didn't think that that, uh... Um that card I activated. The trap card, the one that like sends all the crystal beasts to the graveyard. I didn't think that would be that powerful. I thought I must have been missing something. Like I must have not been reading it right. That's excellent. I love seeing archetypes like I actually know um, get special treatment like that. Antinomy? Anti Antinomy? I think I read up on, uh, on 5Ds and this guy actually turned out to be a bad guy after teaching you say how to um, excel synchron. All right, I got a good start here. We have malefic territory. We have malefic worlds. We have malefic blue eyes. Oh, it's one of those. Okay. We got Rai Geki, TG Rush Rhino. I don't think I've ever seen that card before. Blue eyes, hooray! You're actually not helpful at this moment. I was thinking about this. I'm not gonna lie. I was thinking about it in the shower <laughs> as I was like just preparing for my day of mostly Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I was thinking about it and I was like, oh, I should add Magical Mallet to my Malefic deck. That way, if there's cards in my hand that I need to be in the deck, I can send them back to the deck, and I can draw new cards. All right, sir. Oh, that's the card I was looking for. Activate by paying a thousand life points. They get the effects of all face-up monsters while they are face-up on the fields, but their effects can still be activated. That was the part that this was the card that I wanted to make a deck based around skill drain. I'm glad I re remembered what the card was called. I didn't remember. I saw it. Okay. Well, that doesn't. That's actually good for me. That actually works in this deck. You absolute fucking fool. Oh no. Okay, so next turn, I'm going to summon another... Yeah, that's what concerned me. Don't attack. Okay. I'm going to act... Or, I'm going to summon a Malefic Truth Dragon. Uh, if possible. And then... Oh, look at all these new Malefic cards I got. Ooh. Malefic Tune. You control is destroyed by Battle Drock. Two cards. Um, Malefic Selector. Um, Malefic Divide. Alright, one Malefic Monster in your graveyard, special summon ignoring its summon conditions, but it's affecting the gated. That might be good. Um, let's do... Let's let's do another Rainbow Dragon. So the card art for these cards is good, but... I feel like they look very different when you see them, like, actually animated. Like, when you look at the designs in the movie, they don't look really that much like the card designs. Also had a very high chance of uh, of summoning uh, or of getting Malefic Truth Dragon the game said no 
Bot wow, you bastard. Alright. Uh I guess I'll leave it. I think I can trigger Malefic Tree Dragon on my own if I uh if I smash blue eyes into him. Oh, well. Not a not a huge fan of that. Ooh, I might be able to trigger his effect on my own. Now that I think about it. So if I use Regeki, I think it'll trigger my Malefic Blue Eyes as being destroyed. So this is actually going to be a Wombo combo. I think it works that way. I love cards that activate in the graveyard. That uh, oh, I didn't want, didn't want to do that. I love cards that activate in the graveyard after you destroy a monster that was stolen by your opponent. That's like one of my favorite things that works in this game is that they. They still go to your graveyard and they still activate their effects, even if your opponent steals them. Alright, here we go. Big Brain plays. Alright, did not work. That's not great. I'm gonna level with you. So... I need a Malefic card next turn, obviously, but I also need him to not just throw it away. Oh, okay. Mildly worried. I might have lost here. Alright, Malefic Selector. Banish two Malefic cards from your graveyard. Add two Malefic cards from your deck to your hand, except... So, do I have two Malefic cards in my graveyard, is the question. No, but I can make them, is my answer to that. And then Malefic Tune isn't going to work if I face it. Malefic Control is destroyed. Um, let's do Cyber End. Yeah, I should. I think I only have one Malefic card in my graveyard. But I can activate Malefic World again. Shit, that is not what I wanted, actually. Um, I might do that this turn. Just real quick, like. Oh. Okay. Interesting. That would have very much fucked me. Actually, no, it wouldn't have because of skill drain. Um, okay. So. I can activate Malefic Selector next turn, and if he destroys this, then Malefic Truth Dragon can activate, and its half life points thing isn't going to be that big of a deal. Oh, I hate that he keeps activating cards. He's going to switch control, I think. I'm really fucked. Okay. Good. Good. Good, 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 good. Activate Malefic World? Hell yeah. Alright. Add two Malefic... Yeah, I still want to do Malefic Selector, because I think that'll be really good here. And then I can't summon another Rainbow Dragon, so I don't want that card. Um, are there any more Cyber End? Do I only have one? That didn't sound right. Okay, here we go. Oh, wait, no. Oh, fuck. Please don't give me Cyber End. I really don't want it because I can't play it. I just realized that. Oh, phew. Okay. Activate two Malefic cards from your... Or from your deck to... Okay, wait. I can literally activate both of these. Okay, that works. Um, okay. So let's add... It's so weird being able to choose. Uh, let's add Stardust and Blue Eyes. Um, oh, actually, for once, I might be able to activate this. Let's activate Parallel Gear and Stardust. Um, so this should... Uh, let's just summon by banishing. Okay. Oh, wait. The other Synchro Material must be one Malefic in your hand. I forgot about that. That's okay. So, Malefic Paradox Dragon. I don't remember its effect. I actually don't think it's even that good. Uh, you can select one Synchro Monster in either player's graveyard and special summon it. Um, and, I mean, that would have been something I should have known about. There can only be one face-up on the field if... Okay. So, it's not that good on its own. It's a beefy boy. But we've already got... This is a deck of beefy boys. So that's not as effective. He's got 3,200 attack, or 3,200 life points left, so should I fail this, I can summon the big cannon and just deal 2,000 damage to him. 
Alright, we pulled that back. Nice. I kind of want to fight him again for skill drain, but that's fine. Aporia, Crash of the Cleefort. Um, no thank you. Alright, I'm actually happy with all three decks that I made. That worked out pretty well. Um, let's try Cyberdark again. Uh, no. Um, what was I thinking uh, to add? I don't know. I still don't know what to do with the level up dragons. Let's do A to Z. I'm still trying to brainstorm what I can do with level up dragons. Because the, the crux of the problem continues to be that I have too many cards um, in my hand that I can't summon. I think adding like Mausoleum of the Emperor should help mitigate that a little bit. But I'm not sure. Okay, frontline bases. Oh boy, this is not very helpful. Um, this is a rough starting hand for this deck. I'm not even going to play anything. He'll likely destroy whatever I played. Summoner's Art. Oh, are the Cleeforts um, normal monsters? That's interesting. Cleefort Disc, Cleefort Monolith, Cleefort Shell. Pendulum Summoning in my game? So, okay. So, I, is that the rule now? You can only Pendulum Summon one card plus whatever um, card a Link monster points to. I don't remember. I know Pendulum was the hardest cucked. Okay. This is not going to work out for me. I can't believe I had a hand that bad. This this deck has been really consistent. I can't believe it just failed me. Um, not that I would have definitely lost there, but it does not hurt. Start again. Okay. I need to get water after this for sure. I definitely can't roll into another video. Oh, game. What are you doing to me? I think you and I both know this is a little unfair, considering I have like 20 monsters in this deck. I ain't got wall of disruption. That's something, right? This is uh upsetting. Well... If I get another one, then I can summon Union Hanger, which should let me do some stuff. Alright, cool. Awesome. Grand. Great. I'm having a great time. I can't believe I had two bad draws with this twice in a row. I really have been... This deck has been very reliable. I don't know what this deck is supposed to be based on. Are they like alien motherships? I don't know what this is. Once per turn, you can either target one light machine monster you control. Uh, monster. If this card, you can add one from your graveyard to your hand. Okay. Uh, no, it has to be a union monster, so that's not even going to work here. But, call the haunted, Will. This will, uh... Yeah, I was going to say, maybe bait him with Mystical Space Typhoon. Absolute fool. I had a backup ready. Alright, so that's not good enough on its own. Which is the unfortunate part. I think I'll hold off and call the haunted just this turn. I don't because I don't think I can quick effect uh target him. Alright, let's... Well, let's see. Let's see what I get. Yikes, game. You are uh, being very cruel to me today. Um, just throw a jelly cannon down for now. This is, uh, this is mean. I, like, can't believe I'm not drawing monsters. Or, like, I can't get this engine started. Alright, well... I'm going to Jelly Cannon you, which I don't think is going to affect you that badly, but you know what? Bon Voyage. Oh, God. Fucking. Damn it. My card that sends their card back to the deck was sent back to the deck. The cruel, cruel irony. All right. I cannot believe this. I literally have to go look at this deck. Is this the same deck I've been using? How was that so bad? Twice in a row. What's happening here? 
The deck is fine. Look at how many monsters there are. What the fuck? Oh my god. That was a real rough draw twice in a row. I cannot believe that. What the fuck? Ugh. Gross. Like, do I need to add another one of these? Just to... Just to be safe. And then we'll get rid of a call on There we go. What the fuck, dude? It wasn't... Oh, man. It was just... Oh. A very bad taste in my mouth. Oh. So now that we're on part 12, I'm pretty far ahead. I think I might stream this game today. And... I won't... I don't know what to name this stream, because it's going to be vastly out of order. Um, not that there's really spoilers in this kind of playthrough, but still. Alright, now we have a solid hand. Um, add what card from your hand? Yes. Let's add... What's the one that lets me pull from the deck? Um, turning into target one, light monster, control... Um, Add one from your monster. You can, you can special summon one union monster. Okay, so I think it's Bee Buster Drake. Um, good. Let's see. So I think I can do this. Let me see. Let's summon V Tiger Jet. And then. Machine normal. One light machine monster. Huh. What did I do wrong there? Um, let's return if a light machine monster is normal, special summon to your field. Uh, light machine union monster. Okay, so it's not a, a union monster. Okay. I messed that up. But I'll use Monster Reborn in the next turn. My goal was to equip Buster Drake or Crush Wyvern and uh and then Union Hanger into a new card, but I can see now that didn't work. Pendulum summoning in twenty twenty. Can you imagine? The absolute barbarism. Man, this is an interesting deck. Uh, it, it appeals to my sense of I want to summon a lot of high powered monsters and beat the opponent down with them <sighs> okay what is so when a union monster is normal summoned so let's do why dragon head activate union hanger yes is my attack being lowered I don't appreciate this. Oh, you're a bastard. How do you keep drawing Mystical Space Typhoon? I'm not okay with this. Alright. So we're going to summon V-Tiger Jet. The problem is these cards don't work together well on their own. Um, Union Hanger. Okay, I don't know if this is going to work the way I want it to. Um, what? Which one of them is lowering my attack? Expect not all mon your monsters your opponent controls lose three hundred attack. Um, and then all monsters, all Cly monsters gain three hundred attack. It's a devastating combo game. Okay, so. I think I can do this. We'll summon B Buster Drake. Which should let me pull a card from my... No, it didn't. That's weird. Oh, if it's sent to the graveyard. Okay. So I can... Target that. Let's see. Um, let's equip it to you. And let's equip... A Assault Core to offset the attack difference. And I wish I could equip another one this turn. I really do. But I think that's all we got this turn. And I can't attack. Okay. The only upside to this is that it's going to let me... Um, 
Uh, once both of these go to the graveyard, it'll let me start throwing cards back in my hand. We'll see if they attack uh, Union Hanger. If they do, it'll be misdirect, because... I mean, it's a good card, but it's not, like, imperative that I summon it. My current setup, I can summon three cards of the field. Yeah, I thought that might happen. Activate the A Assault Core. Yes, I will. Oh, I can only use those cards. Okay. Or that might have been the only Union monster in my graveyard. Union Scramble only does banished cards. Um, let's see. What can I do here? Um, if this card is sent from the field of the graveyard, you can special summon one Union monster from your hand. So I can activate this. Special summon this card. And then I can... I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. Um, I don't actually know. I keep getting just the slightly wrong pieces here. Um, so I can... Unaffected by... Opponent's spells, unaffected by traps, neither of which are helpful here. Um, I could... Oh! How does this work? Oh, ore from your graveyard! I didn't know that! That's a game changer. Okay. So which ones do I have in my graveyard? I have A Assault. That's it. Okay. So I can literally just... Okay. That, uh... That makes things very different here. <laughs> Whew. I was starting to sweat a little bit. I don't. I can't discard any cards. Which is my only downside here. Because I think I might be equally matched. Yeah. And I can activate Union Scramble next turn to summon another one. Good, good. Starting to come together a little bit. Okay. Now we got a fighting chance. I'll wait for Union Scramble. Does it summon them? I can't remember. It does special summon them. Okay. Yikes. Big yikes. Oh, he's gonna summon it from his stupid fucking extra deck. Oh. Oh. Why did their attack go down? He normal summoned it? This is weird. Oh, and its attack went up that time. Interesting. Um, okay, I don't know what your effect you're using here is, but I'm not a fan. Would prefer it if you would stop. Oh, I'm dead. I'm definitely dead. Damn it! I have to relearn how to play my fucking deck. I don't think I can, like... Oh, this is the part that annoys me. If I do this... If, so if I do this... I'm kind of fucking myself, but also I need to. Oh, actually, that's not true. If they go to the graveyard, they activate their effects. Which uh, may help me in the long run. I still get a chance. Oh, plus, if they're back in the graveyard, then I can summon ABC Dragon next turn. Alright. What do I want to add? Let's add... Uh, let's add Z-Metal Tank. Because I don't have them already. So this adds a Union Monster. Yes, let's do this. Okay, good. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna use you to discard. So I'm gonna... Let's see. So we're gonna summon ABC Dragon Buster again. I had no idea this card could summon from the graveyard. This is actually really cool. New appreciation for this deck. Okay. And then... Activate the effect of a card? Yes. You can discard one card, then target one card on the field. Banish it. During opponent's turn, you contribute this card, then target three banished uh, Union Monsters with different card. 
where we're different names, then summon him back to the field. I can kind of see how that would be helpful now. Alright, so we're going to banish Machine Assembly Line. Um, which might let me send from the, uh... No, from the graveyard. Yeah, you can fuck off. Um, I'm curious, which, which of these would be the biggest impact? Well, this one is the only one I can't swing over at the moment. Um, but if I get rid of the... The one that lowers my attack... Um, that might be good. No, I gotta get rid of this, because he'll swing over me. Actually, made another effect. What other effect do you want me to add? Oh, Union Scramble. Um, you can banish this card from your graveyard on the target. One banished light or uh, Union Monster to turn into the hand. Yeah, why not? Um, what's the one that adds cards to my hand? You can add one unit monster from your graveyard to your hand. Um, well, this one's just a good effect monster. This might actually work out in my favor. Alright, so... Summon... I gotta be very careful with the monsters I summon to the field. Given their attack strength. Alright, and then we'll normal summon you. I could use Union Scrambler here. Or not Union Scrum. I could use Union Hanger if I really wanted to, but I don't know if that'll work out for me. Okay. So this means I shouldn't be affected um, by opponent's monster effects, which apparently doesn't include... Um, I thought this added 500 attack. So this would be destroyed. If this, okay. Well, shit. Oh, I can do this. I actually didn't even think about that. Forgot that I had mild immunity. It didn't trigger his effect. I guess I don't have any Union Monsters in my graveyard. Okay. I also... Oh, I can't use his quick effect anymore. Or I can try. Um, Because I don't have three banished monsters anymore. I only have two. God, how do you have so many pot of two allies? Ooh, Dimensional prison, prison will be good. Oh, I definitely am going to need to crush Wyvern if uh, that comes up. Let's see which one he adds. Oh, okay, well, I mean, you, you tipped your hand a little bit. Um, okay. It's weird that he didn't Pendulum Summon. I feel like he should be able to. Uh, no. Okay, I may be able to summon the big boy, but it's not going to work out the way I want it to. Oh, wait. Mmm, oh, that's annoying. I can discard a card, but... Uh, Alright. Let's get rid of his face down. Let's make this a uh, little easier. Get rid of Y Dragon Head. Yeah, okay. Slightly disappointing, but need to be done, I think. Okay. So, I still need, um, I still need another Y Dragon Head if I want to make the big boy, the super big cannon, but this is pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm glad that this kind of turned around for me. I think I can probably still tweak this deck. Why did you not do this last turn? I don't understand your methodology. So, Quiet Monolith. Sacrifice. Uh oh. Rutro. I'm, I'm in Ranger Raggy. Um, can I activate anything from the graveyard? No. I can summon Union... Oh, I can summon XZ Tank Cannon. Um, target one face down, spell and trap. Alright. Gains 300 attack, can be destroyed, but cannot be destroyed by battle. This equipped monster can be treated as two tributes. This card is... Okay. So I think... Let's see. 2100 times 2. 4200, 1200. It's not going to be enough. Fuck me. Shit. And it can't be destroyed by battle. 
but I need to do it. Uh, you're killing me, game. Wait, this will work. Wow, this shouldn't work, but it will. Oh wait, no it won't. Oh, I've made a mistake. Shit. Let's see if I can... Wait. I have a chance here. Just a small one. Um... Wait, what do I have in my graveyard? So we don't... Alright. Oh, man. No, I'm kind of fucked. I thought I'd be able to summon a card back, but that's not going to work for me. What do I need here? Damn it. I refuse to believe it's over. Um, let's see. So if I add... Or if I equip one of these cards, let's say Crush Wyvern. Special summon a Union Monster from my hand. Not going to be able to do that. This one will let me add a Union Monster from my graveyard to my hand. This one will let me add one from my deck to my hand. Then it'll also throw this in the graveyard. So I can add Crush Wyvern to my hand. Um, I wonder if Union or if Lunar Removal will work. Destroy these monsters. Um, I think if this card be destroyed by a battle or card effect, destroy this card instead. This card is sent to the, from the field to the graveyard. The only issue is that that activates at the end of the turn. Um, I think it can still work, though. Alright. We're doing some real risky plays here. I'm really racking my brain for this one. Sacrifice. Ugh, I hate the name of that. What does this do? You can add a climb monster or whatever. That's fine. Okay. This is where uh, this is where we really see if it works out. Okay. So it destroyed their monster, but then they pendulum summoned back, which isn't that surprising. Why do they always do Monolith? Is that the strongest card they have? Oh, and that one too. Right, B Buster. Oh, okay, so that does work. So limiter removal um protects your uh or um I should say Union Monsters protects from Lunar Removal. That is a big big exception. No. Oh, I don't want to summon it now. Shit. I messed up. Okay. I messed up again. No, I can do this. I keep activating cards I don't mean to. Um, let's see. So I'm about to get ABC Dragon, but I can't use it to destroy anything. I don't have any cards in my hand. Um, I guess let's just like try and start the engine up. That's a it's a big attack bonus. And I can summon Crush Wyvern, which should let me fusion summon this, if I played my cards right. And I did. This is, I can't believe I went through all those duels using ABC um, monsters and didn't know I could use them from the graveyard. Okay. So again, can't do anything this turn. With uh, with summoning, but I've got firepower on my side, and I think I have enough to swing over. Oh, that was intense. That felt uh, that was a good one. That was a brain racker. I like that. Cool. All right, only four done here. What are you? The fabled awakening? Like whatever. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching, and I'll uh, see you in the next video. Adios.